Let's comparison shop without moving out of our chairs with no guesswork. For this shopping tour, let's look at Polara Custom, Impala, and Galaxy 500. And let's consider these standards. Price, appearance, comfort, convenience, ride and handling. We'll look at the three cars first as base vehicles, that is, with standard equipment only, and then with the options most people buy. This comparison is as fairly balanced as anyone can make it. For example, we have equipped the Polara Custom with the optional 360 engine, which costs more and which is a little more powerful than either the Chevy's 350 or the Ford's 351. Let's start, as many prospects do, by comparing price. We'll find that Polara Custom costs less, considerably less, right down the line. Here are manufacturer's suggested retail prices for the Polara Custom, the Impala, and the Galaxy 500, all four-door sedans. Polaris base price, with the optional 360 engine, is $95 less than Impala's and $60 less than Ford's. When we compare two-door hardtops, we find that Impala costs $90 more and Galaxy $74 more. Here's another, four-door hardtops. The Chevrolet is $199 more than Polara Custom, and the Galaxy 500 is $43 more. And it goes on. Your two-seat wagon is ahead. Chevrolet Kingswood wagon is $65 more than the Polara, and Ford Custom 500 Ranch wagon is $49 more. You win again with the three-seat wagons. The Kingswood is $73 more, and the Custom 500 is $58 more than your Polara Custom three-seater. Model by model, Polara Custom shows leadership in price. Now, a few words and numbers about cars with equipment on them. Here's what happens when we start sizing up the same three cars comparably equipped with the options most people want. Air conditioning, power steering, automatic transmission, and others we find the same monotonous but happy story. Polara Custom wins again. Here, for example, are the four-door sedans again. The Polara Custom is equipped with your air conditioning special package, A07, and the others are equipped about the same way. In this comparison, we're again deliberately penalizing Polara the extra cost of the optional 360 engine, and both Polara and Galaxy are being charged for power disc brakes, which are standard on Impala. Even now, Polara Custom beats Impala by $211 and Galaxy by $234. That's real savings. Judged by the first standard, the beginning Polara Custom advantage is price. That's always important, but even more important today for most new car prospects, especially when they see how much extra value they get in Polara Custom. Up front, Polaris grille is metal, not plastic like Chevrolet and Ford grills. Polaris new front is a distinctive design executed in stay bright aluminum. The Polara Customs body side moldings are more protective, vinyl filled, not paint filled as the others. And notice the wheel lip moldings. They are full on Polara, partial on the Ford, and nowhere on the Chevrolet. In trunk capacity, Polara Custom has 21.2 cubic feet, Galaxy 500, 18.2 cubic feet, and Impala, only 16.9 cubic feet. And notice the Polara floor is flat and covered with a vinyl mat. Galaxy gets spatter paint and a small mat at the bottom there. Polara's flat floor is easy to load and unload. Trunk is only 14 inches deep. But in Galaxy, the trunk is a pretty deep hole and getting anything in or out takes lots more effort. And Impala's trunk is over one-third smaller than Polara's. The opening is narrower and shorter. Polara, with its capacity of more than 21 cubic feet, is great for handling and carrying just about anything. The Polara driver enjoys a well-planned, fully equipped instrument panel with direct reading gauges for fuel, alternator, and temperature, and rich-looking wood grain trim. Galaxy's instrument panel is on three levels, harder to see, harder to use, with only a fuel gauge. 
and note Ford's skimpy use of wood grain trim. The Impala's instruments aren't so well arranged either. With the gauges and controls set in separate rows, there's a feeling of disorganization that you have to look up and down to find the instruments. And the panel itself looks bare with no wood grain accents. Back to Galaxy 500 for a moment while we're in the driver's seat. You may find the ashtray more of a knee cracker than a convenience. And if you want to get something out of the glove box, it's an annoyance and a mystery. The Galaxy driver or passenger can't see into his glove box unless he practically lies down on the seat. In Polara, the central ashtray is convenient for all, and the glove box allows the driver to open and search easily. The Polara custom driver gets a broader view of traffic behind him in the big 12-inch wide mirror. Galaxy's mirror is only nine and a half inches wide. The Polara Custom and Impala rearview mirrors are about the same size, both 12 inches wide. But what you see in them is considerably different. From the driver's seat of the Polara Custom, you can see the car's rear fenders. Pretty handy when a garage door corner, a tree, or parking lot post is near. The Chevy's rear window and deck design leave you with no visual reference point. You can't see the rear deck or fenders. You could easily crunch fender or bumper. Another Polara visibility advantage over Galaxy 500 for both driver and passenger, full-size rear quarter windows. Galaxy's rear windows are much smaller, tougher for driver and passenger to see out. This blind spot plus the narrower mirror makes it harder for the Ford driver to check traffic when he wants to change lanes. Polara's front seat position makes the driver and front passengers more comfortable. The standard bench seat is an inch higher than Impala's, and the seat cushion is one inch wider front to rear. Speaking of comfort, Polara Custom offers more hip room and floor foot room than Chevrolet in front and in the rear. Front and rear seat passengers in Polara enjoy more floor room than in a Chevy Impala. More foot room means more comfort, particularly on a long trip. Hip room, foot room, and now, Here's what Polara gives you in rear knee room, with the front seat adjusted about halfway back. Here's how you make out in Chevrolet Impala, with the front seat just as far back. The difference in favor of Polara is really obvious. Now, take Polara against Galaxy 500. Here, too, Polara provides more front and rear shoulder room, as well as more front and rear hip room. To most of us, that means Polara's more comfortable. Okay? We've considered price, appearance, comfort, and convenience. Now, let's look at ride and handling. First, there's Torsion Quiet Ride. It puts Polara in a class by itself. Our engineers have refined, added to, and strengthened the Polara ride every year. Torsion Quiet Isolators separate the passenger compartment from all sources of road noise and vibrations. The Polara ride is quiet, smooth, stable, over every kind of road surface, from smooth superhighways to rain-washed country back roads. Front torsion bars easily handle all the shocks and stresses they get from the front wheels. Multi-leaf rear springs, these two isolated by heavy rubber pads for extra quiet, soak up rear wheel bumps and bangs. The Galaxy and all full-size Fords have coil springs, and so do Chevrolets, front and rear. Oh, they're satisfactory on smooth surfaces, but they're less stable and provide a little less control on every other kind of road. Here's another major Polara advantage. Unibody, all welded construction. Unibody, one rugged solid unit. For life, with no bolts to loosen, rattle or fail. Both Chevrolet and Ford make a full length frame and then set a body on it with bolts to hold it all together like buggies were built before advances in production welding techniques made unibody practical. A longer life of rust resistance is provided by Polara's exclusive seven-step dip and spray anti-rust treatments. Ordinary corrosion is virtually eliminated. Well, in a fast shopping tour, that's it. We have compared Polara Custom with and without the great air conditioning price special against Chevrolet Impala and Ford Galaxy 500. By whichever standards you want to measure, price, appearance, comfort, convenience, ride and handling, Polaris out in front of Impala and Galaxy 500, and the field. 
Polera has proved its superiority. Invite your prospects to comparison shop and see for themselves. Oh, by the way, you're sure you caught the winning cruncher number? <laughs>